Welcome to Pure Mind Magic, the show to evolve your mind. Our mind is the most powerful thing we have, but no one teaches us how to use it. When we find out how, we're ready to create magic in life and in business. Learn real mindset secrets from brilliant minds around the world to change your mindset and income level forever. With every decision you make, you create your future. What is your next move? Now, welcome your host. Host, international magician, speaker, and podcast performance consultant, Jennifer S. Royal. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Pure Mind Magic. For today, I picked a topic that isolation can train your mind. What I mean by that, I will explain in a few moments. But before I do, I wanted to promote something from Germany this time, actually. And this is the GFA. It's called in Germany Gesellschaft für Arbeitsmethoden. And it's all about how to become better at your job and also about active lifestyle design. They offer great events and presentations, for example, about influencer marketing. And they are all about masterminds. And I've talked about masterminds a lot on the show here. So in case you are in Germany or coming to Germany and would like to learn more or would like to attend a great seminar that really helps you to enhance your career and to do some personal development, then check out the Gesellschaft für Arbeitsmethoden, GFA. There will be a link in the show notes so you can find all the information about all the offers they have through the year. And it's a little early to talk about that, but they also do have a great Christmas event. So you will find everything there. Let's move on to the topic of this episode. This is related to the virus that is going on at the moment globally. And I just wanted to take another approach to it because all the news and media are full of the negative information. And I hope that you and your family are safe and healthy. And it's a tough time for everyone because likely wherever you are in the world right now, you are stuck at home. You can't really leave your home and you can't do your job in a normal way. And when you're an entrepreneur, you're also dealing with all the problems and economies slowing down going down. So it's really tough to stand all of that in your mind from the outside perspective. And it puts a lot of extra stress on you, probably as well in your private life, when you are together with your partner or family for 24 hours in a day. So this can be a real challenge mentally and emotionally for you. But it's also that it can help you to become better in what you are doing. And I would advise that you don't see yourself as the victim of the circumstances. What is very easy to fall into that mindset. But you're still in control of your thoughts and what is going on in your mind. So you can decide actively to read books that bring you further, to watch YouTube videos that inspire you, that motivate you, just to have this other thoughts by all this negative information that is going on right now, all the numbers of the death and everything that you're confronted every day. So keep that spot just for yourself in your mind that is still positive. And why I called this episode that isolation can train your mind is because it's true. So some artists in the world decided for several projects 
on purpose before all this virus started to go into isolation and some are completely isolated and you can can watch them via video what they are doing in 24 hours so they experiment what's happening when you are just with yourself in isolation and of course it helps you to enhance your concentration because you won't be disturbed that much as you normally would. So you can pick a goal or maybe a new skill set, what I'm doing right now, and you have more time and more focus to learn something new. And this isolation also helps you to come up with new habits because when you want to create a new reality for yourself, it is not that you get what you want, it is that you get who you are. So to become or to get something else, you have to become someone else. I mean it in a positive way. So become a better version of yourself. And you know that 95% of everything you are doing on a daily basis is subconscious. So you don't think about actively what you're doing. You're just doing it because you have this program in your mind and you are on autopilot. And it's all habits. So your body is trained to do it by himself. So now you can think about coming up with new habits that really help you transform your life in a way you would like it to have. And not long ago, I did uh, an episode on how to craft your own morning routine, uh, ritual, sorry, or routine to help you get on the right track and start the day in the right mood. So you can do that here as well and really think about what habits would help you. And this time now forces you to become better in self-discipline. So when you're self-employed or an entrepreneur, you might have this ability already because you are used to structuring your day on your own without having someone telling you what to do all the time. And when you don't, it can be a challenge to stay productive when you are at home and maybe you are trapped at the moment in home office. So take that time to find a way for yourself to be more disciplined. And also don't try to sit there for eight hours and work straight. Always think about taking breaks and it's best when you can go outside, depending on where you are right now, maybe you can go out for a walk. So this will really help you enhance your productivity, stay focused and just feel better instead of just sitting for hours and hours every day. So this is not really helpful for your health. And this time for yourself while you are now in isolation is also the opportunity to have time for yourself and think about what you really would like to have and do and what is really important for you. Now, while you're not able to go out and do all the things you normally do, what is it that is really important in your life? How is it with your family? And what are the things you really would like to do when things are tending to get back to normal? And you know, they say when you want something you never had, you have to do something you have never done. What would that be? And what are you really grateful for now that you see clearly now, because normally it's just normal that you have it, that you can do it, but now you see it's gone. So what are the things in your normal life that you are really grateful for? And you know, and I said, that several times on the show that gratitude has the highest frequency of all the emotions we have. So whenever you get stuck or feeling down, it's a great tip 
to get into the mood of gratitude. So just think about small things you can be grateful for. What is still working in your life? right now with all this tough situation outside but what is still working in your life with your family with your partner concentrate on those things that is basically it what i wanted to share with you so that you think about that some people decide on purpose to go into isolation to get some benefits out of it also Think about big authors and authors who write screenplays. They sometimes lock themselves in a hotel room and stay there until the book or the screenplay is finished. Because I guess you know that very well that there are so many distractions out there and especially now in springtime. Many things not you can do normally that distract you from what you are trying to accomplish. And people procrastinate and procrastinate and just never get things really done or bring things to an end. But with isolation, you have the chance to really work on something that's important to you and finish it without having all the distractions that you normally have. So maybe you can turn the time around and work on yourself, work on something you would like to end to finish now is the best time for this because when things are taking off again and the world is like turning again then there will be all the stress again you will have all the appointments outside you there are places you have to go to and you are back like in the red race but now it's like the whole world came to a stop. Of course, it's still moving, but it feels like it came to a stop and it feels like time is expanding. So time feels longer in a day because not that many things are happening outside and you are not in, stuck in traffic and all those things that are normally happening. So it's time to be quiet. It's a time to look inside instead of reacting to everything that's going on outside. And also think that Professional athletes go in a training camp, they isolate themselves as well to become better, to focus on their training. So there is a reason for that. Just keep your mind positive uh, because it's also known that isolation can have a negative effect on people starting to think negatively. Don't go down that road. It's your control so no one can decide what you are thinking. Again, you control your thoughts. Decide to think positive thoughts that help you make the best out of this situation to become better, to focus on your projects. Maybe you have this book idea in mind that you wanted to write for so many years. Now would be a great time to get this started and get this book you are carrying with you all the time in your mind down on paper. Let me know in the comments what you are thinking about that and if there's any idea you are about to work out or about to realize in this time now. I decided to learn how to produce music in this time now, so something completely new, but I thought it also keeps my brain active and my mind alive to have this new idea, to learn new skills, and it also helps to leave the outside world behind and go into this creative world where you kind of lose the connection to time and space in a positive way and you probably experienced that before when you were in this flow state where everything was just so easy and just came to you all the ideas and this is what really creativity can do for you or creating something whether it's writing or doing music or whatever so some people 
get this effect by playing video games because they get absorbed into this other world. So this is not what I enjoy so much, but being creative is also getting absorbed into another world. And this makes or the walls of your house, your apartment, wherever you are, seem more transparent with that because you are starting to get access into this other world of creativity. So play around with that, see what you can can come up and maybe you are coming up with a really great idea in this time now, something you would like to go for. That's it for this episode. I wish you all the best, stay healthy and talk to you soon.